Hi folks, I wanted to quickly show you how to use the PASS software and Write With Icons to make support materials for individuals you are working with using um, either Unity or Lamp Words for Life or one of our um, vocabularies. So the first thing that you need to do is download the PASS software from our website, www.printrom.com, and then you're going to go to the support tab. Um, I will in the comments section, uh, leave a link to our uh, PASS software. Once you have it downloaded onto your PC computer or uh, a Windows side of a Mac, um, the next thing that you need to know is that the vocabulary has to be set to the vocabulary of the student that you're working with. So in this example, I'm going to set the vocabulary to Unity 60 sequenced. Please know that when you um, download the PASS software, it does come down in the Unity configuration. Uh, if you need to load in uh, Lamp Words for Life, you might have to do that depending upon the vocabulary that your individual is using. Um, but just note that the vocabulary that your individual is using needs to be showing. And I will um, also in the comments section leave you a link as to how to replace a user area so you can gain access to your students' vocabulary. So for, uh, like I said, for this example, I'm going to go to Unity 60 sequenced. The next thing I am going to do is um, start making uh, support materials. So how I am going to do that is I'm going to come up to the vocabulary tab and then I'm going to come to vocabulary display options and then I'm going to come down here to write with icons. If you are a uh, keyboard shortcut kind of person, you're going to just uh, select F11. Once I do that, a uh, preferences um, box will come up. You can set different preferences for how you want right with icons to look, uh, but for demonstration purposes, I am just going to use the defaults and say OK. At this point, no, um, in this top area, these are the directions to using uh, right with icons. Um, but I'm going to just show you. So what, what I have in mind is I'm going to make some labels for around the classroom. And rather than labeling my environment with nouns, I am going to label it with um, phrases that include core vocabulary. So for example, um, on my light switch, I might have the word turn and then on and off. So you can see here as I'm typing, I type the word and then I hit a space and the icon sequence appears. Type the word, hit a space and the icon sequence appears. So for my light switch, I'm going to have turn on and turn off. Uh, for my door and maybe for the windows in my classroom, I'm going to do the word open. So I'm going to type open and then hit a space and then um, also the word close. So you get the picture here. So at this point, I can simply, if I use my, um, my uh, mouse plus the control key, I can start to highlight these things or shift, sorry. Um, and then I can do um, a control C to copy. Um, which I can do control C and then if I want to open up a Word document or a PowerPoint I can do control V and then paste those icon sequences. So that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is this last bullet point here. It says go to file save and open to save this information for editing and printing. So I'm going to do that file save and open. I'm just going to throw this on my desktop and I'm going to call it test because everything that I call test and it lands up on my desktop I know I can uh, junk or get rid of. So I'm just going to hit save. So what happens is that those icon sequences open up in the in a Word document. So you'll see here I have my sequences and at this point I can do some formatting. So maybe I am going to um, put turn on on one and actually I'm going to copy this because I need turn with off as well. So I'm going to highlight it, control C, put my cursor down here, control V, so now I have turn off, maybe give myself a little bit of space. Move this guy over here a little bit. And then come down here and put a space between these. And so I'll open and close on their own, like so. At this point, I could print this out on cardstock. I could print it out on a sticky label. Um, with a colored printer, right? So I'm just do file print, print in color, and then I can cut these out. I could laminate them if I put them on cardstock. I can just throw them up on um, the various light switches and um, things around the classroom. 
So that is uh, quickly how you use uh, Write with Icons. I should show you um, before we go how to get back to the vocabulary. So all you're going to do is go up to vocabulary and then return to emulator. All right. Thanks, everybody. That's just a quick demonstration of Write with Icons uh, using PRC's PASS demo software. Thanks.